Item number SCP-4213. Index, I scream. Object class, Keta. Special containment procedures. SCP-4213's movements are to be monitored from outside audiovisual range by MTF Row 4, the Neapolitans. Following SCP-4213's departure from a location, all individuals who have interacted with the object are to be administered a Class A amnestic. Description SCP-4213 is a man of Tibetan descent and presumably in his 50s or 60s. SCP-4213 is capable of bypassing all cognitive resistance within humans, effectively allowing SCP-4213 to control the actions of others. Prevention of this effect is impossible once SCP-4213 has been perceived. SCP-4213 solely utilizes its anomalous properties to facilitate travel to a location with a high concentration of frozen dairy products and then uses them to compel the holder of these products to grant SCP-4213 access to them. It will then begin to consume any acquired products. It is unknown if SCP-4213 is capable of utilizing its anomalous properties for reasons other than the acquisition of frozen dairy products, as it has never been observed to do so. However, all attempts to effect long-term containment of SCP-4213 have been unsuccessful due to the frequency of these acquisition events. Incident 4213-1 On January 15th, 2019, SCP-4213 succeeded in entering Site-88's cafeteria during its Free Ice Cream Day, a bimonthly event implemented to boost employee morale. SCP-4213 then proceeded to acquire several servings of frozen dairy product. During this event, SCP-4213 was confronted by Dr. Jacob Curtis. The following interview was recovered from site surveillance equipment. Interviewed SCP-4213 Interviewer Dr. Jacob Curtis Date of log 1-15-19 Approximately 12-15 local time Irrelevant information omitted Begin log Dr. Curtis Excellent To begin, how did you first come to learn about your abilities? SCP-4213 I don't know. Do you ever think about how your abilities affect others? Huh? For instance, imagine you've taken some ice cream from a child. SCP-4213 smiles and begins to lick ice cream from a cone. Both are silent for three seconds. Never mind. Can you recall an incident where someone has resisted your commands? No. What do you remember? SCP-4213 continues to lick its ice cream cone while maintaining direct eye contact with Dr. Curtis. Look, we've been monitoring you for years. Now that you're actually here, I just want you to answer a couple of questions. All right? You're weird. I'm not. Hey. SCP-4213 begins to walk away. Dr. Curtis follows. I just want some answers. All right? I don't care. Can you at least wait here for a second? I think I know of something that could help. Fine. Dr. Curtis runs quickly towards the cafeteria. SCP-4213 begins to slowly walk away until Dr. Curtis returns, holding a styrofoam bowl filled with ice cream. At this point, SCP-4213 appears to relax. Can you use your abilities to acquire anything other than ice cream? There is silence for approximately five seconds. Then SCP-4213 points to the bowl Dr. Curtis is holding. Give me that bowl. Dr. Curtis falls under SCP-4213's effect at this point and is unable to continue the interview. End log.